Um, what do we else we got? We got Twitch. We got Pinterest. Pinterest. We got Snapchat. We got all kinds of good stuff. And foodtalktv.com. Foodtalktv.com. website. Yes. And here is where people are from. Oregon, Minnesota, Iowa, uh, California. Oh, California. Um, North Carolina just got over a bad hit. Oh, that's Fox going wild. Hey. And Cass says, hey. Hi, and Cass. Evie says, cool knife. Thank you. Um, this is a knife for people with uh, disabilities um, or having trouble with their hands. Um, you can get it on our website, foodtalktv.com. This style of knife is under my name on Amazon. And they even have a bread knife. Uh, is it under Andrea or is it under Gluten Free Mama Ann? Gluten Free Mama Ann. Okay. <clears throat> now we've got Pennsylvania in here. Ooh. Hi, Wavon. Hi, Karen. I wonder uh, if they if they're a, a Steelers fan. A what? Steelers. It's football. <laughs> oh well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a Bengals fan. My dad. Well, was... what kinds yeah. of beans did you put in yours? Um, in mine, I put uh, Great Northern because they're white. You can also use navy beans in mine. Oh. And they're just so good. All right. Yes. Dice Has dice. said, please tap the screen. Um, we don't want to hurt Andrea's feelings, so we're going to. Y'all can hear me tapping. I know you can. Hey, but if you guys tap so much, I'll sing to you my favorite Christmas song. If oh, I get 50K what? likes at the end of this live, I'll sing my favorite Christmas song. Oh, y'all, come on now. Please, because I've never heard her sing. I want to see if she can sing. She's making chili. She's making turkey chili. And she's cutting up a half of three different colored uh, peppers. I love to do that. I make a mix of that and purple onion and yeah. uh, keep it chopped up in a bag. And then I put it in my eggs in the morning. Oh, that's I good idea. Yeah, I saute, saute it in butter. And then I add egg after it gets soft. And it's so good. See, this is just so easy. You can do Boy, you've honed that knife skill. You're good at that. Yeah. Now, with it a regular knife, I'm not the greatest, but. Oh. My sister in law, she has arthritis really bad. And when she used this knife, she said, oh, it works really good. I think she ended up ordering herself some. I may it's have hard to for her. All right, let's get the yellow pepper down. Look at all this moisture in this pepper. Sheesh. I know. They are that way. I feel like I need to like drain it. <laughs> uh, she said, what did, did, is there a name for the knob? There's a link in, is it? There's a link in, in, um, in who we are under my name. Uh, oh, in foodtalktv.com? Yes. Uh, this is our website. And if you look up in the upper left corner, you'll see how to spell food talk and then just put dot com in the search engine and we'll pop up and we've got recipes galore. And under her name, it shows the link to this knife. It's for people with like arthritis, which I have. Several palsy and all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. And she is making turkey chili. And great, and uh, just like Granny's in here, I just like Granny. She said, "Hey, hey, let's get these onions ready." Let's hope my eyes don't water. It had been forever since mine had watered, and I thought onions just aren't ah. what they used to be. Oh, and then guess what? My eyes Not watered. Everybody the can hear that. What? Can you I guys hear talking. the TV? Do what? Can you hear his TV? No. 
And if that bothered people, they had already left me a long time ago because Jesse has it on every time I do a live. Oh, okay. So. I told him to go downstairs, but he won't do it. <laughs> My little onions. Lolita said, if you put a wet paper towel beside your cutting board, your eyes won't water. So. This is sense. turkey chili, Kaz, not pork chop. But I, everybody's on the chili binge, but we're tired of the fancy food. We're tired of fancy so, food. She's making turkey chili. Turkey chili. And she's just cutting up her vegetables right now. To get ready we'll play for our it. PlayStation. Close the door. My kid has been playing outside in the snow. Kaz said he makes some, he created some chili. He probably stole my recipe too. So I'm just saying. See, Nobody's making it like I did. So that's okay. You see. Uh, I have never heard of pork chop chili. So I'll have to make that. Ugh, right. I did, my eyeballs. Uh, Chef Camilo and uh, Deanna's in here, Thrifted Brutes. Hey, girl. Would you like to tell everybody about our grub match coming up? Yeah, it's uh, January the, what, second? Second, I, I think. think. And uh, Trisha, uh, Sketchy Chef, has, has come up with this idea to, um, you know, do a split screen. Mm -hmm. And not not somebody in the tiny box, but half and half. And they cook. They either share a recipe, and they make it at the same time, or they get in, uh, ingredients. No, wait a minute. You you can either share the recipe or tell it, Kaz. I don't know exactly how. There's good, but you can vote. You can vote. My you eyeballs go, are dying. I can't see. Bless her heart. Well, then you go to the website. If you watched it, you go to the website and vote for the person who uh, you think made the best dish. I don't know how. You know how sometimes you can just watch Chopped and you can go, hey, that person won. That's my opinion. Because you can tell by, I, you really need to, it's a, it is a cooking food competition. But you're. I forgot what the criteria was. What you're going to do, give a recipe or... Iron or Chef is on Netflix now. Oh, I've watched so much. Iron Chef used to be on, also on the Food Network. Yeah. I've watched it. It's a, yeah, it's a throwdown. I don't, you know. You're going oh, to be... my eyes to, are killing me. I think maybe the person that's getting, yeah... Gigi said, I cheat with a chopper. I do too, and except when I mess up my chopper. I have a yeah. chopper. I just didn't want to use it. Now you wish you had, don't you? Ugh, yeah, we're going to have to start using that thing. Okay, I'll be good. It's something to wipe my eyes. I'm sure my mascara is going everywhere. All right, listen, Brent. If you get, if you do get Dano's regular and put on the uh, pork chop mm. so good it was so good oh. I know that's why I leave my onions big <clears throat> like I start burning and then I just have to stop and everybody says you leave your onions too big <laughs> well, then scoot that over and let's get us some garlic here we're going to mince I saw, the garlic, though. I saw a TikTok where somebody just sticks a piece of metal down in the inside and then and that just pops out of the deal. And somebody did it to see if it was true or not. And what? and they did it, but I don't know. I don't know. How they do that? They just got a clove like that and stuck something metal in it like a... I don't know, like a fork, stick that in there, and then it just pulls the bulb out. But I don't think I believe that. I've never heard of such a thing. It is so hard to peel these stupid cloves, too. I know. Hey, 
I'm the one that does fermented garlic and honey. I know this thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I peeled a bagillion. <clears throat> hey, my other jar is just going to be done in two more days. Mm. Hi there, love kittens so much. Love kittens. Love, so love kittens so much. So, hi. <sighs> hey, Brent, aren't you the one that got a cookbook the other day? Me? I yeah. I remember that. No, Brent Tharp that, that's oh. in here wants to try my chili. I think I sent a cookbook to Brent Tharp the other day. I have to order one of your cookbooks. No, I'm going to have to print some more, and then I'll send you one. How about that? Well, there we go. Okay. Guess who's okay. in here? Oh, I got, a, I got vanilla coming from Frank in the mail. Mine came today. Listen, guess who's in here? Hey. Oh, my eyes are closed. <laughs> Look at that. I'm leaking. Who says, hey, TikTok? Chef Bradley. He's here. Uh, he said, yes, thank right. you. Listen, um, Andrea is the closest to keto. No, no. Follow uh, October, That's Dragonfly. October Dragonfly. She does gluten free, and October Dragonfly does keto a lot, a lot of keto. So, and such pretty stuff. They just all cook such pretty stuff. So yeah, I, I, I would love to cook keto stuff, but I don't. Hi, Bradley. Uh, she's okay. making turkey. Chili, turkey chili. He doesn't like garlic. My dad said no garlic, but I don't care. I <sighs> use garlic powder for the naysayers. They'll never know. You know, it gives it a flavor. I like real garlic, though. Oh, I do too. <sighs> but see, like, I used to not like garlic because it makes you smell. And because I never would try it. And I don't like onions either because of the smell. But um, <clears throat> I liked it. Let's see. Okay. I'm not that good at squeezing it, so just bear with me. <sighs> okay. Just bear with me here. Well, see, now I know how to work that thing. <laughs> I've had one for years. I'm like, what is this? Oh, God. <laughs> I my drawer up. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, that was just your camera fail. I've had that happen. A few times. It hit the burner. That right, so, I got so garlic you, up my fingernails. Hey, do you start with garlic? Do you put your garlic in first or? Yeah, might as well. We do what we want over here. All right. Um, see, the other night I went to bed, my throat was hurting, and I knew I was going to be sick the next morning. And I got up and ate a clove of garlic, and I was fine the next morning. Huh? For sure. For a can opener. Oh, my favorite one right now is. Pampered shelf, it it leaves the edges not sharp, and I love this it. is country crop plant butter. Con oh, country crop plant butter. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, sketchy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. I have so many Karen friends from the Don't Be a Karen days, and one of them, her name is Karen. Not a Karen. Karen, not a Karen. <laughs> okay, so so I have a question. What? So I still got to brown my meat. Should I brown it with the peppers or do that in the skillet and then add it? Well, see, what I would have done is probably do my meat first. Is your meat already cooked? No. It's raw, raw turkey? Yeah. But then... <clears throat> I'll do it to skill it. <clears throat> okay. Just okay. don't burn that garlic because it doesn't take long. Yeah, it's starting to burn. Yeah. Yeah, and just, uh, yeah. I'm worrying about her garlic. 
Look at that. Right yeah, I see that. But I always brown my meat first. and But you can set that off the burner and and do your meat. At the end of the day, I want you to make it like you'd make it if I weren't even sitting here and like nobody's watching. See, I'm a do you boo kind of person. Do you boo? Yeah. Can't have enough butter. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to see if I've ever, if I've missed any. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of though. chicken broth to this, or you can do vegetable broth, beef broth, whatever you want. That's going to calm that down. Oops. It's going to calm that down a bit. See what I mean? Yeah, yes. Don't calm that. My dad's going to get mad because of that. Whatever. Who cares? So he gets, he threw in my big pot. He said it was uncleanable. Okay. Now we're going to move stuff over. I think I have a pain kind of like that. Put that on low. Uh, I like to add butter to my meat, too. Plus, it's plant-based butter, so it's just like putting all oil on it. All right, so what I did was I <clears throat> cut this in half and then put the rest in the freezer, and then I thawed it out in fours. Okay. So. Okay. Hey, y'all, tap the screen, please. She said if she got 50K likes, she would sing. And so I, I want to hear it personally. Hi, Righteous Kitchen. Hi, Righteous Kitchen. Tell um, everybody what who Righteous Kitchen is doing. Who she? She's the one in the grub match. Tell them what? She's in the grub match. Really? Yeah. I thought it was uh, City Jesse Girls Smith Kitchen. Jesse Smith and her. Isn't it? City, City Girl Kitchen. Oh, I don't know. We, oh, mm -hmm. Just ignore me. Be quiet, Andrea. Right. It's City Girl Kitchen. Oh. Correct. But now she's in our lives almost every time we're here. We Hey, Lash, and, Lash a Digital Studio. Lash uh, Digital Studio is in here. She is cooking turkey chili. She's using ground turkey and she's making turkey chili. She's already cooked some onion, garlic, and her peppers. And she's got them simmering over back to the back. And now she's doing her turkey meat. And she then she's then we're just going to, have to see what she does because. I don't we'll never like, know. I don't think I've ever made turkey. I've made deer chili, pork chop chili, chicken chili, uh, beef chili. I've made every kind that there is. Hi, Moses. How are you? Moses is in the building. Yes, he is. He just said, Hola, my food talk family. Hola, amigo. See, she's learning some Spanish now. I'm proud of her. I know some Spanish. I just don't know that much. Well, I would say say something, but I don't know what you'd say. And I unfortunately, I would know if you said something bad because I'm a Spanish I don't know teacher. any bad words in it, surprisingly. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. No, I know one bad word. No, well, we don't need to know it. Nope, we don't. Just because it's in Spanish doesn't mean it's not a bad word. Exactly. So, so your preacher daddy might not like you saying it. Exactly. And he's, and they, he's listening. He's sitting on Did the couch. Sketchy? sketchy said she knows a lot. 
but you know, she's got it. She's Mexican, right? <laughs> I don't know much. Deanna is incorrigible. <laughs> she wants to know a bad word. No, we're not putting that on here. Thank you. Yes, please tap the screen, y'all. And share the live. I've been trying to, but it's hard to do it while you're, you know, in the guest box. I'm trying to find TikTok out boy there. There we go. I sent some. Listen, they're not going to spank you and take your birthday if you share the live. They're just going to maybe come in. All right. All right. This is Food Talk. Oh, we're almost at 10K. Look at that. All right. You have to have 50K likes, you guys. She won't sing otherwise. I'm just saying. So please tap the screens and please share the live. And this is Food Talk TV. Follow us up in that upper left-hand corner. And it will take you to all the creators and show you our stuff. You can go watch us individually. You can just scroll down. Th don't don't overlock everything or it'll put us on. <laughs> well. Don't spam yeah. like three talks. What? Three talks on our videos. I don't spam like it. Are you gonna make me mad? Oh, spam! Right, yeah, so I'm draining this spam. meat into this bowl here, and then I'm gonna put it back. Oh, it's got a strainer in it, y'all. That's what she's getting the grease out. Good idea. So I'm gonna add some. Turn this down some. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. If I can. Get it to open. Yeah, once you freeze turkey meat and you thaw it back out, it does have a lot of uh, water Ugh. in it. All right, what what seasonings are you putting in? We'll figure that out in a second. Oh, we're going to figure that out. Well, that's tomato paste. I know that. Yeah. I, I recognize that. <clears throat> I don't remember the last time I made to tomato paste or used tomato paste. Uh, chili powder, McCormick chili powder, which I use if I can't find Maxine. That's my favorite, but it's getting harder and harder and harder to find. That's <laughs> that was too quick for me okay thank you thank you for coming in I know you got to work Kat but thank you for coming in you're so nice some pepper whoa that's a lot some Himalayan salt. Okay. I'm going to add some more broth. Because why not? Uh, how much of the uh, chili powder do you use? Just whatever you want. Okay, see, that's what I do, and I put a lot. <laughs> I'm just. I have to be careful because somebody doesn't like seasonings. Okay. Not me, somebody in this house who will remain nameless today. And his name starts with Michael Harden. Is the first name start with an L? Mike, Michael, my dad. Oh, your dad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's turn this up some. I wondered why it wasn't doing anything. It's because it was on extremely low. I do that way too often. All right. Now that's starting to look like my sloppy joes. 
<laughs> yeah. You can. Oh, my hands. Sorry. Um, I'm having a really bad pain <clears throat> right now. Oh. You can um do sloppy joes with tomato paste, yeah. I think my mom used to. Of course, now they have the kind in Bandwidth. Yeah. So why would you want to go to all that when it's already, you know. Some days you just got to have a quick day because the voice is on. Well, used to because now I'll never watch it again, but whatever. Anyway, good folding, somebody said. You're folding that in there so great. You did well, thanks. I have something for them. You're no, they said you're doing a good job folding. Oh, <laughs> so now you just taught me this. <clears throat> Your opinion wasn't a part of the recipe. <laughs> She's been dying to use it and she was looking for anything. Even a compliment brought that out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a compliment. This girl, don't tell me. That is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's very nice of him. Uh, I'm going to be using that for now on. No, she, on it. it's going to be my 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 rude people stopper. She misunderstood, Catherine. She, yeah, I'm now just now the fine. yeah. Ignore her. Ignore me. What? Who said I heard that? that. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> what do you got in here? Oh, 96. You guys are lacking on these likes. I'm not singing today, then. What, come on. Well, we're, well, we're to, well I, quit, I haven't told, asked anybody to tap, so uh, please tap the screen. She, I, she knows she didn't. Don't leave us. <laughs> I'm not reading it. No. What is she making? Uh, Turkey chili. Hey, mate, I'm reading comments. Oh. And, you know. So. So, dump it in there. Now, to anybody in a long time. Add the rest of your broth. Whatever broth you want, it doesn't matter, okay? Now, we're going to add our cans of beans, chili magic beans, because I don't care today. Usually, I like to use all kinds of sorted of beans, but this is what my dad wanted, so. We're going with it, okay? Hey, yes. <clears throat> See, I usually drain beans, but on the chili ready, it's got the chili sauce in it, so I, I put it all in. With that yeah, kind of my dad likes that. Yeah. It is good stuff. It's kind of like uh, Chick fil A sauce, it'd make a flip flop taste good. Chick fil A, oh, I love Chick fil A sauce. Oh, I do too, so much. Oh, my can's not opening. Some tomatoes, my can, it wouldn't. So, I gotta do it this way. Okay, whatever works, whatever works, exactly. You guys better start tapping that screen. Yeah, yeah, Sketchy said, I've seen some really good chili this week. I need to make some now. <laughs> Everybody else is. You might as well get in on the action. Because I love different chili recipes. I went to a chili cook-off uh, for a Christmas party down in southwest Arkansas, and I ate uh, uh, some chili that had Hershey bar in it. I mean, what? peanut butter. 
Yes, and grape jelly. I'm like, what? Not all in that same pot, but different people had different things, and they were all so good. So, I mean, you know, now I sound like October Dragonfly, and you know it's so good. I just love her. All right. Yes, do. Yes, do. Better bring that puppy to a boil. Yes, Hershey bar. I'm not joking. <clears throat> Gotta put the butter up. Oh, I got a. <clears throat> I think I'm going to let that boil for a bit. See, I'm in Arkansas, too, so it might be an Arkansas thing for all I know. But it was good with the chocolate in it. I all right, let's go on a tour of my wilted. My flowers are wilting, <coughs> but we're going on our tour for my mom's funeral of all of our flowers that we kept. Okay, so we got this one here. Okay, it's pretty. Got that one there. That's it's really wilting. We got this one here. <coughs> oh, that's pretty too. It was candy bar, yes. There's my tree. There's some, um, there's that other one, really but pretty. then we have what's poinsettias, but there's another one. I can't there's tell a little if it's tree. Really we have two of these with, and you can put these things on them, you know. And then we got this thing here. That's so pretty. And this. And there's this with her urn. Wow. And it says loving grandmother, loving wife, <laughs> and there's that. And then I'll show you a picture of her high school. There you go. And she was pretty. She was pretty. Yes, she was. And my dad's still a mess. And there's this. I catch him talking to the urn every day. Aww. Let's stir us up some chili. I've got to answer one question that I see. Tar Healy, uh, they also with catfish, we have purple onions, pickles. We do tartar sauce. And uh, pickled, pickled, we we do pickled uh, tomatoes with it, and hush puppies and French fries and coleslaw, and sometimes pinto beans. All that yeah, chili. Mm. No, it, it would to serve with catfish. Oh. <clears throat> now, okay. what's your? You, what you can do is let the simmer for hours, or you can just bring it to a boil and eat it. But the more flavors, the more simmering you do. But we're yeah. going to bring it up to the boil and taste it. And we're going to add what we want to it when we, when we get it out. Okay, so. Hi, everybody. My name is Andrea, and this is Food Talk TV. And for the cornbread comment, <laughs> we're going to have to take that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, I'm just playing around. So she is. Y'all knew dark. her. You couldn't be offended by her if you knew her. Seriously. Uh, better. Now, um, and see, I love cornbread and my husband loves cornbread. But when I eat soup, I'd rather have crackers most of the time, 99% of the time. So I, I'm a cracker with my soup kind of person. Andrea is the best. 
Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I know. Okay, so you have to be careful. Where I have celiac disease, I am gluten free. So you have to be careful with what you eat. Um, flour tortillas, no. Okay, they have wheat in them. So what you want, if you go to a restaurant and you order fajitas, ask for corn tortillas. Yes, I do that anyway. I do that anyway. And then, um, you have to be careful with your uh, barbecue sauces, your seasonings, everything. Sweet Baby Ray's, gluten-free. Yeah. Okay. High chef. Because that's what I use. All right. Everything. Gluten is in everything. Oh. Throw those away already. They've been in the freezer. Okay. And then see you, what have you, done? you see what you've done, Kaz? She's going to hold that up in every live and show that to everybody. <laughs> Your opinion is not part of the recipe. <laughs> okay. So Dano seasoning is gluten free. So it's safe to eat if you have celiac disease. Tahine is gluten free. Or, or, now listen. Or if you like wonderful flavor, use Dano's. It doesn't matter if it's gluten-free, if it tastes good. It's so good. It's yeah. yum, yum, get you some. And no, I am not sponsored. <laughs> uh, I know, me either. So, hey, but so our, friend make... Joette, our friend Joette, our friend Joette the florist, is sponsored by them. How did a florist get sponsored by them? Oh, Daniel Oliver, not. if you're watching this. <laughs> All right. So this is gluten-free real panko. All right. All right. Yeah. Bradley. Bradley. You better hurry up and get that 50K, toast. you guys, because we're almost done with this live. And did you see, hey, did you see what Dan said? Uh, Bradley said he no. said he is sponsored by Danos. I am sponsored by them. Link is in my bio. Whoa, you know, he lives close to me, right? Bradley, no, Daniel. No, okay, I, so meant, this is I meant Bradley. I meant Bradley. I know, but Daniel Oliver, Dano Seasoning, lives close to oh. me. Got now, to cereal. Cereal. you got to be careful of cereal. Fruit Loops is not gluten-free, folks. Don't eat it. I don't, I'm not keto. All right? And you got to be careful. Your chocolate chips, everything, everything. French onions is not gluten-free. Don't eat it. Okay. Mm. You know what, you guys? I forgot to add this. I had kidney beans, too. I used the two wrong beans. I said, hey, Hammy. Hi, Hammy, man. Should hey, I add it? Hammy. It's already boiling. You could. All it has to really do is get warm if you want them in there. Yeah, I wanted kidney beans. I forgot that I got this. I put in two of the same beans like an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. I'm tired. I didn't sleep. Ugh, hold on. I didn't very well Welcome either. to my cabinet. Now. I was looking to see if I could use my board again, but I didn't see anything. So. Oh, man. Come on, girl. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we got we got more kidney beans. We got kidney uh, beans. It is good. It is very good. Finger looking good. I think most of our food talk people are in here, except for maybe Dan. I'll cover Dan if not in here. No, but uh, Sketchy and Bradley and. Just like Granny and I, Kaz was, 
I don't know if he still is, but he was. He usually he's sits back and just quiet. Yeah, he's. I was that way yesterday. I was there the whole time. I probably was the top viewer, you know. And I commented now and again, but yeah, he is. He's here. So there we go. Now we got some kidney beans going on. All right. Can you guys see it? All right. So you put tomato paste in lieu <clears throat> in lieu of tomato juice. Yeah. And and, and canned tomato. So canned tomatoes. Yeah. See. Yeah. So we did half of a yellow, orange, and red pepper. Turkey meat, garlic, onions. We use a little sweet onion. Bring some sweet to it. Well, it looks good. Let's get rid of that. Oh! Someone's not going to like to take a bite of that hunk. <laughs> oh. We got another hunk here. What are the comments saying? Anything interesting? How was Christmas? Well, okay. Hey, it was good. How was yours? Is this recipe gluten-free? Yes. Yes. It was good. Glad it's over. Looks good. It is gluten-free. Yes. And gluten-free doesn't have to taste bad. Just like keto, I know a I, when I was doing keto, man, I made this chicken dish that had so much butter in it. It was good, but it nearly killed me. So I think if I, I had to do foam stuff off of here, that's just fat. Did you know that? Oh, what in the world did you put in there that had fat? Because the butter, the man. Well, maybe so. I think when you turn it off, that foam will just die away. No, nah, it just it puts a, it makes a rim. I saw this one thing. Let's see. What, let's see if it does it. But I saw this one video once where you take an ice cube. You supposedly like take an ice cube and it like picks it up or something, but it doesn't. Well, it's because I don't think it's really all that fat. I think it's the tomato juice. Tomatoes, when you do tomatoes, they foam like that. When you're canning tomatoes, they foam like that. So I'm thinking it's the tomatoes that's foaming. Or these peppers. Or the tomatoes. All right, so uh, Ashton said to come to Sweden to make that uh, for her because uh, her stomach's hurting. And Kaz says he's going to write a book. No, he's writing a book on keto. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down, cook this for it to keep cooking, but we're going to try some. It's going to be so hot. Should we have a bowl like this, say? Ooh, that's party. I'm not using it though. I'm gonna use this bowl. Oh, that's pretty too. You got the pretty bowls. They were my mama's. Some people like a lot of juice. I don't. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's garnish this puppy, shall we? Kaz said, I'm supposed to edit his book. And Bradley said, I'm writing a book on non-keto. Deanna loves the snowman bowl. All right. Let's find us something to garnish this puppy. Uh, yes, it does. So, you know, a lot of people like chips and salsa or chips, donuts, noodles, whatever. If you know me, I like goat cheese. Three people put sour cream. We are out of sour cream, so my kid's going to be pretty unhappy that we're out of sour cream. Ooh. I've never had goat cheese. 
I'm telling you, you got to make my goat cheeks pasta. I need to find some. I'm going to have to go to town to Fort Smith today to try to find these certain kinds of little buns that are shaped funny. So, yeah. <clears throat> the title of, hey, Bradley's titled his book, uh, Eat Till You Drop. <laughs> you silly. What is uh, it, buffet style? Huh? What is it, buffet style? Uh, it must be. It must be. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, so it's a softer cheese. Okay. I got to wash my hands off. Coach. I like the color of that bowl. Green and purple are my two favorite colors, and together it's just beautiful. All right. Where's my screenshotters? Where's I'm, my screenshotters? I'm afraid I'll turn myself. I'm afraid I'll turn myself off or I would. Well, get it out of the writing. It's in the writing. There you go. There you go. Somebody screenshot, Kaz. All right, it's still writing's on the bowl. Now, screenshot. I'm scared I'll turn it off. All right. Who 